McDowell, Yancey and Mitchell County still under a winter storm warning until tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. But check this out. The rest of the mountains and the upstate, those alerts in your area have been canceled just because that ice threat is diminishing and moving out of our region as the bulk of the precipitation is now farther off towards the north and east. Fox radar and 3D still showing us some areas of light rain and some drizzle, but right now Spartanburg, Lawrence, and even down towards Greenwood still having some light rain showers right now, but we're not out of the woods yet as we're going to see another push of rain impacting our region later today. So let's go ahead and talk about it on future. So here's a look at 1 p.m. Still across the mountains, having some rain showers. It's going to be scattered on and off throughout the entire day. Heavy downpours not out of the question. Here's a look at 3 p.m. If you don't have the rain in your area, we're going to have those clouds, and we also will be dealing with some fog tonight and into tomorrow morning's commute. So just be mindful of that if you are going to be hitting the roads for lunchtime or for the evening commute home. And then for the mountains, right along the Tennessee state line during the overnight period. We will have to watch out for some snow falling again right along the North Carolina and Tennessee state line, but any areas that receive that have received that ice and that rain have a chance to for any of that standing water to freeze back over as our temperatures for the mountains tonight dropping below freezing for the upstate. We should be seeing above freezing for tonight. However, a few areas could still receive those slick spots. Now on top of the rain that we're going to be monitoring throughout the entire day, it's also going to be quite breezy for the upstate and the mountains as winds could have gust closer to 20 miles per hour. Right now we're sustained at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. And if you also were planning to head down to the southern portions of the southeast or even into the deep south, you have to watch out for the chance for some strong to even severe storms. A marginal and slight risk is not in our area, but it's just towards the south. So maybe if you are going to be traveling to, let's say, Georgia or even into the panhandle of Florida today, you need to be very careful and stay weather aware. For the upstate, 39 for your high temperature this afternoon. We'll stay in the upper 30s as well for the mountains, but again, having some icy spots still not out of the question. And the good news is we'll be drying on out and seeing more sunshine for Friday and the weekend. Plus temperatures are going to be on a warming trend too, especially for next week. We'll be back into the 50s and 60s for the upstate, holding on to the 50s for the mountains. Seasonal bowl for this time of year starting next week and until then it's just going to be a little bit gray and gloomy today, but we'll all clear out and see some sunshine starting tomorrow. 10.